Hello guys, welcome to Selenium Training and my name is Murli and this video I am going to show you how to set up Selenium or how to configure Selenium with uh, PHP programming, right? Right, so to do that first we need some pre-requirements. You should have good knowledge of PHP with OOPS concept or at least you should un understand the PHP OOPS concepts. You should have knowledge of WAMP or XAMPP server how to start, how to stop the server, how to do the PHP programming in the server like that. And you should know how to start the Selenium server as well. Right? So first you should know these three bits. Then only you can do the Selenium setup with the PHP programming. Right? Say we have some couple of small steps here to do that. So first download the Selenium PHP bindings from the Selenium website. Right? So let's go to Google. Yeah, today my internet is down. Right, so go to Selenium website and go to download. Here you can see here third party driver bindings and plugins and third party language bindings not developed by Selenium HQ yeah so here you have php language bindings right so as a first step click on this binding you can try for any other bindings as well so this is the binding i'm using so web driver php right so download the bindings from here and try for I think this is the best one so from here downloads here so here you have PHP language binding so I have downloaded this the latest one PHP web driver binding 0.91 zip whatever yeah so click here you can download that and extract the folders like this so I placed in some my D drive and PHP language bindings like this right so this is first step so in this you have sample some example classes and firefox profile examples if you know php already so you will understand by opening these files open with notepad so php program starts with this and here you can see the sample program required once and you need php web driver and you have to include this webdriver php dot php so this is from this folder okay so you have to include all these files right so that is the first step next install and start the XAMPP or WAMP server so I have already installed XAMPP server on my system right so I have to start my XAMPP server I have icon on the desktop right so here I can start my Apache server and I'm starting my SQL as well right so to run any PHP programming you need this XAMPP or WAMP servers and with control panels so that's a different topic we'll see later and as a PHP guy I hope you know already this right so second step is done so first step download selenium php bindings from the selenium website that's done and second step install and start the XAMPP or WAMP server that's done so now create a directory in the htdocs folder for selenium test and place the php language bindings in that folder right so as you know that already if you install XAMPP server on your system it's in the C drive or D drive you will get a folder like this XAMPP so double click XAMPP and here you have htdocs folder inside htdocs create one folder so here I have created folder called WD test so create a folder called WD test or choose your own name give your own name for that folder so double click that 
and place your language bindings which you downloaded from the Selenium website okay so just all the files place all the files here right and remember in future if you want to do selenium with php so you have to add all these test cases like making a folder like this and you have to add like this here test case one test case two like that okay but you have to include these language bindings in your program okay right so that's done so create a directory in the htdocs folder for selenium test and place the php language bindings in that folder yeah this done so now download the selenium server jar file from the selenium website and start the server from the command prompt right so again go to selenium downloads page this is the download page of selenium website and here you have selenium server and download this server so this is a single jar file okay so you have to start this jar file from the command prompt okay so i have downloaded this file and i kept in my c drive folder called rc and i kept my folder like this the jar file like this in my c drive okay so we have to start that server so go to command prompt like this and go to folder to that folder so cd means change directory so is a very simple dos commands so now i am in c drive in rc folder so if i want to start java jar file as i told you already in the pre requirements i said you should have knowledge of php with oops concepts you should have knowledge of vamp or xam servers and you should know how to start the selenium server okay so you have to start the selenium server by giving the command like this from the command prompt java hyphen jar and means by using java you are starting a jar file and server name or jar file name that's called selenium hyphen server standalone hyphen 2.42 point two dot jar so press enter see it's launching a standalone server and here check this here socket listener 4444 means it's going to open or it's going to connect through that port with your selenium php right so this step is done So download the selenium server jar file from the selenium website and start the server from the command prompt. This is also done. If you have problem at this step, so if you can't able to start the selenium server like this, then you cannot run the selenium with PHP. Okay. So it's a small step. You have you can find in the YouTube or you can find in the internet how to set a java class path okay set java class path in your environment variables then you can able to run this file if you, there is any problem right so now you have to write a test in a notepad or in the eclipse editor or any php editor okay so i have written already a simple program so c drive in the exam in the HT docs folder there you have WD test and here I have written one program called example one dot PHP so open with a notepad and write like this this is PHP starter point and require minds once require underscore once maybe you know that you are already a PHP guy so we are including web driver class into the program and dollar web driver is a variable and you are creating a new web driver class constructor in your local host pc and this is the port where you started your selenium server means this line so it is going to communicate with your php web driver to through the 
selenium jar file means selenium server so dollar web driver connect firefox means we are opening the browser with the firefox if you are using internet explorer change the browser name here chrome or ie explorer whatever and webdriver dot get get is a method to open google dot com so these three steps means we are initializing the web driver we are connecting to the firefox and we are opening the google dot com website right so then by using web driver find element by locator strategy where name equals to q means this is a firefox go to google and if you have firebug so inspect this element in the code you can see somewhere name equals to q okay so that is the strategy we are going to use here just check in the code you can see somewhere uh, name equals to q yeah here you can see name equals to q okay right so name equals to q we are finding the element means we are finding the search box and we are pass by using if condition i am just passing php web driver and we are submitting if you want to close it you can close it yeah so this is a sample program example 1 dot php right so how you can open this so first go to any browser so i am going to chrome and here first i am connecting to my vamp server http colon slash slash local host so in the local host i am using my port is 81 don't confuse here in your system maybe it's just local host okay so this is my xamp folder so local host colon in your case local host slash wd test the folder name and test case name so my test case name is example1 dot php and execute it press enter see you can see now firefox is open and it search for web driver okay so this is a simple setting up php with selenium configuration and we'll see more programs in future about uh, how to do with uh, selenium and php etc okay so thanks for watching the video bye for now